name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I say glory, glory, honor be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, Lord, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou failest not thy compassions. As thou wast be, thou forever will be. The great is thy faithfulness. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All that I need, that thy hands are provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. I said, Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, Lord, thank you, your faithfulness is great. Great is our faithfulness. Lord, you are great, you are great. Great is our faithfulness. You are wonderful and you are mighty. I said, great is our faithfulness. Lord, unto Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Lord, you are great and greatly to be praised. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. You were great and great and great and great and great and great and greater than the greatest, Lord. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Oh, Lord, unto me. Lord, we bless you, Lord, and we thank you, Lord. Great is your faithfulness, O God, and thank you, Lord, for the first day in the eleventh month. Thank you, Lord, because you are good, and your love and your mercy endures forever. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done this year. Thank you that through the storm and through the thick and the thin, you have always been there. And your faithfulness, your faithfulness, your faithfulness. Lord, we bless you. And we honor you and we thank you, mighty God. For you deserve the glory. For you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Lord, for my brother, evangelista, pastor, and maestro, Arturo Perales. Thank you, Lord, for Johnny Mercy all the way to Bolivia. Thank you, Lord, for his word and the Johnny Mercy, and you gave him the, the land and gave him the word in season. Thank you for the open doors to the nations. Lord, we bless you that you will yet do mighty things. Even from Bolivia, the seed of the word of the grace that he has thrown in there will grow and blossom. In the name of Jesus, we agree and pray for you, brother, today, that doors of other nations are going to open to you.
Your doors of Colombia is going to open to you. The doors of Chile is going to open to you. The doors of uh, everywhere, Guatemala, everywhere, Honduras, God is going to open doors for you in the name of Jesus and bring the message of the word of the Lord, the teachings of the grace of the blessings and healings in the name of Gloria Dios, Gloria Dios. Lord, we just thank you that you will do many more things in the name of Jesus. We pray even for your church and your ministry to presentia, the power of God and the presence of God and the anointing of God that will release unto you. I decree and I declare that God's going to give you a place, a place, a church building, a church building, a place of meeting, that God is going to favor you. God is going to order your steps. God is going to make provisions for you. God is going to ensure the vision grow by his divine provision, by his blessings in the name of Jesus. You just keep on doing it faithfully and God is going to make a way where it seems to be no way. No more disappointment, no more shame, no more struggle, no more hardship, no more trying hard at getting no result. We decree the anointing, the anointing of God, the presence of God, the blessings of God be released unto you in greater measure, abundance, abundance in the name of Jesus. As you have obeyed him by obedience, you went to Bolivia, far away country from your home. But God is good. As you reach out to those people right there in your home also, God is going to glorify himself. And enlargement, enlargement, enlargement. You got to pray the prayer of Jabez. The prayer of Jabez, Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. He said, enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory, O God, and let your hand, and the Bible says God made Jabez more honorable, more honorable than all his other brothers. We decree in the name of Jesus in that city. The Lord will give you the territory. The Lord will increase you and bless you in greater measure. On this first day of the 11th month, it will give you an 11th hour miracle in the name of Jesus. Give him the praise and give him the glory. Say, Lord, thank you. Gracias, Father. Gracias, gracias, gracias. In the name of Jesus. You did it for Jabez. You will do it for Arturo Perales and his family and in two presents here, Iglesia, the ministerial. In the name of Jesus. Greatness and greater. In the name of Jesus. Mass honorably. In the name of Jesus. That greater things are coming for you and we turn the table around and turn everything by the grace, the anointing of God and the mercy of God and the grace of God that makes everything happen. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Welcome everybody coming on the sweet hour of prayer and power broadcast today as we bless the name of the Lord and we thank him and we thank him for the 11th month of November that God is going to do great things, that God is going to do new things. You want to thank him because he brought you this far. He said, Lord, thank you because of your grace and thank you because of your faithfulness. And whatsoever Goliath, whatsoever giant and whatsoever obstacle that is ridiculing you, standing in your way for moving progress to the next level, the giant must fall in the name of Jesus Christ and you take the victory and you take the authority and take the dominion by the reason of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and I declare no strong old, no strong man will hold your blessing down anymore in this new month. That every expectation you have and everything that you are looking up onto and planning that God is going to blow up your mind. Ephesians chapter 3 versículos 20. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20, that the Lord will do great and mighty things uh, beyond that which you can think or imagine, that God will do greater than your imagination, God will do mighty than your expectation, and God will come through for you in a mighty way and send help from heaven, help from God, uh, Psalm 121, Psalm 121, he said, I will look up 
unto my face, my eyes up unto the Lord. I will look up unto the Lord. Don't look at up to man. Looking up unto the Lord. Psalm 121. He said, now, from when does my help come? He said, my help is coming from the Lord. My help is coming from God. My help is coming from heaven. Uh, and the Lord will show amazing things in the name of Jesus Christ. The help from the Lord. I use the Dios from Swello. The help from heaven. The help from God of heaven. Lord, release help. He said, lift up your eyes, O oh, oh, yeah. uh, and look up for your redemption. Your redemption is near. Uh, when you look up unto him, redemption comes for you. When you look up unto him, restoration comes for you. When you look up unto him, the rain of the showers of blessings is released unto you. When you look up unto him, redemption and miracles is coming in the name of Jesus Christ. He said also in Psalm chapter 86, Psalm chapter 86, verse 15 and 16, he said, you, O Lord, are a God of compassion. You are a God of compassion. Behold the misericordia, the God of mercy, the God of compassion. And he said, is gracious. God is gracious. Psalm 86, verse 15 and 16. He said, now, you, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and abundance in mercy and truth. Oh, turn to me, have mercy on me, give your strength to your servant, and save the son of your maid servant. The Savior, the Savior, the full Savior, the salvation package of God uh, is a save with the strength of the Lord. Uh, it is not by might, uh, it is not by power. He says, Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6, it is not by your might, it is not by your power, it is not in your own knowledge, it is not in your own smartness, in your own capability, but he said, it is not by might, it is not by my strength, it is not by my power, but it is by my spirit. By my spirit, uh, says the Lord of hosts. Uh, the Lord, thank you, O God, by your spirit, O God. The spirit of the Lord makes things great. Uh, the spirit of the Lord engraves you. The spirit of the Lord empowers you. The spirit of the Lord engraves encourage you and entrust you to move further, to go higher, to be greater in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, Lord, full of compassion. Say, Lord, in this month, I receive compassion. In this month, I receive your abundance, abundance of mercy and the truth of God. What is the truth? You walk, keep walking in the truth. He said, you shall know the truth and the truth that you know shall set you free, shall set you free. Now, now, no, he said, turn to me. Say, Lord, turn things around. Turn it around. Turn things around. Turn it for good. Turn it for blessing. Turn it for increase. Turn it for favor. Turn it for your mercy in the name and give me your strength. For the lesser the Dios, for the lesser for simply from the heavens, the help from God, the strength from God, and the safe the save, the salvation. We decree in the name of Jesus. God is going to do great things by his spirit, by his power, in a mighty way, in a new way, in this month, in the name of Jesus. I want to say, Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to bless you, O oh God. I want to honor you, O oh God, because you have never failed. You have never failed. Dios nunca fire. He never fails. Say, Lord, I thank you because you will never fail me. You will come through for me. You will do amazing things for me. You will do many things for me in this month of November. Uh, don't you give up on God. Don't you say it's too late now. I haven't seen anything in the last 10 months. God, you're going to see the favor of God. You're going to see the goodness of God. You're going to see the end of God. You're going to see the visitation of God. You want to say, Lord, I just want to bless you. I want to thank you. I want to honor you because you're going to do it for me. You're going to do it in a mighty way. You're going to do it, oh God. Where the men have failed you, where the harms and strength of men have failed you, the hand of Jehovah never failed. The hand of Yahweh God never failed. Say, Lord, you're going to move in a mighty way. You're going to do amazing things for me, and I'm holding on to you, oh Lord, uh, holding on to you for my miracle. And I'm next in line for the next level. I'm next in line for the miracle. 
miracle. I'm next in line, moving on greater. In the name of Jesus, every wall, wall or barrier, Every wall, wall, that they say they're going to build a wall, you can't cross the wall. Every wall must come crashing down. The wall of Jericho, the wall of Jericho came down by the shout of hallelujah, by the shout of the glory of God. Every wall, every obstacle that is standing between you and where God wants to take you and the greater level that God wants to lift you high, say, Lord, remove the wall, roll away the stone. Remove the obstacle. Move me forward, O oh God. I trust in you. I believe in you. I receive your word, O oh God. I, if you did it for Joshua, that they got to Jericho. That, that's the final. That's the final point. They have crossed through the Red Sea. They have crossed through the wilderness. They have crossed through Jordan. But there was now the wall, the wall, the wall of Jericho. Every Jericho. The Jericho wall stands strong. The Jericho wall, the enemy say you can't get in the possession. The enemy say you cannot get in to possess what God has for you. But if you listen to the instruction, if you listen to the voice of the Spirit of the Lord, if you listen and commune with Him in the throne of grace, in the throne of grace, in the place of prayer, in the place of power, if you listen and Joshua listened and said, go around. Jericho. Go around Jericho. Walk around it. Anywhere that the sole of your feet, he said, where the sole of your feet has marked on, you will receive an inheritance. Say, Lord, I receive the promise that you have for me. I receive the promises that you have made for me. I receive every prophecy that been released over me. That what you said from January, I'm going to see it happen in November. Even before December, I will encounter and experience your glory, encounter, experience your visitation, encounter, experience your mercy, encounter, experience the grace abundant in greater measure coming for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And everything that's going to stand as that Jericho be crumble, crumble, the Jericho crumble, Jericho come down in the name of Jesus. We feel the blood of Jesus and speak to the wall. He says, speak the word only. When you speak the word of faith, when you speak the word of God, when you declare what God has said, when you repeat what God has pronounced, and align yourself and agree with the promises of God, every wall, every Jericho need to come down. Every wall, every Jericho need to come down. What we're praying now, oh God of possibilities, my God of possibilities, uh, make it happen for me. He said, now things might be impossible with men, but with God, nothing shall be impossible. Uh, finances impossible with God. Uh, all things are possible with me. He's going to visit you in a, in a, in a, in a way of his mercy. Uh, talking about uh, uh, struggles and, and trying to make end meet and trying to make things happen. When God step in, uh, there is a turnaround. Uh, there is a blessing. Uh, there is a favor. There is a visitation. Say, Lord, uh, I come to experience your visitation. I come to experience your mighty hand. I come to experience your grace and your glory, O oh God, uh, that you will walk in my favor, O oh Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, no disgrace will come your way uh, and no shame will come in your life. Uh, when God steps in, he makes every impossibility. He changes the rules. He changes the rules for your sake. Uh, he changes everything to favor his own children. Say, Lord, I just come to honor you and I come to bless you because you are going to do it in your own way. You're going to do it in an amazing way. And I thank you and I trust you and I bless you, oh God, because you alone are faithful in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Let's get in the word of the Lord again. He said, Psalm chapter 89, Psalm chapter 89, he said from verse 30 to 34, Psalm chapter 89 from verse 30 to 34, he said, if his sons forsake my law and do not walk in my judgment. If they break my statutes and do not keep my commandment, then I will punish their transgression with the rod, 
and their iniquity with tribes. He said, nevertheless, nevertheless, Psalm 89, verse 30 and to 34. Nevertheless, he said, my loving kindness, I will not utterly take from him, nor allow my faithfulness to fail. My covenant, I will not break, nor halt at the world that is gone out of my lips. The world that is gone out of the lips of God. God is going to bring forth the promises, the word of God. Say, Lord, you will fulfill the word that is gone out. Every promise you made for me, Father, you will make it happen for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, that you will say every good thing concerning your health, uh, you will be strong and healthy. Every word. He said, I, nevertheless, I will not. I will not fail you. My faithfulness never fail. The faithfulness of God never fail. Say, my heart will not fail. The word of the Lord concerning my health will not fail. The promise of God concerning my life will not fail. Uh, what God said is what it will be. Uh, as God said it, that is how it will be. Uh, and I thank you, Lord, and I bless you, Lord, because you're going to make it happen uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, what you say you will do, Father, do for me in a mighty way. Lord, do for me in a new way. Lord, Lord, do for me in a great way in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and I receive your blessing. Uh, and I receive your favor. And I receive your intervention. And I receive your good, uh, your grace, uh, and your mercy, O oh God, uh, that you will not be uncelebrated. But that God is going to cause his hand to reach out to you in a new way. God is going to cause his mercy to reach out to you. That every principality and forces, the Bible says in the book of Daniel, that there was a prince of Persia that stood and said, Daniel, you will not receive the blessing. And in that the angel. But Daniel did not quit praying. Daniel continued in prayer. Daniel continued in prayer. Say, Lord, I will continue in prayer. I will continue continually, consistently be in prayer, standing in the place of prayer for what God said is going to do for me. I will receive it and I will enjoy it in the name of Jesus. Say, no more frustration. I decree and I declare no more frustration concerning my blessings. No more frustration concerning my destiny. No more frustration concerning my glory. No frustration, no stagnation. No frustration no stagnation, no frustration, no stagnation. All that you are going to receive in the month of 11th month is the 11th miracle. Is the access granted. It is progression. It is prosperity. It is moving forward. It is increase. It is abundance. Lord, receiving your grace, O oh God. Receiving your intervention. Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, that everything that God has for you, the wonder walking power of God, the mighty miracles of God, begin to manifest now, begin to encounter the visitation of divine helpers of God. And he said, now the Archangel Michael had to come and rescue the angel that was hold on by the principalities of Pasha. Say, in the name of Jesus, I need your help. I need your intervention. I need you, O oh God, step in the situation and deliver my miracle. Deliver my blessing that nothing will hinder anymore, that nothing will stop anymore, that nothing will hinder anymore of the breakthrough of the blessing that you have for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, you will not be put to shame. They said, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength and they shall not be put to shame. He said in Joel chapter 2, my people shall not be put to shame. Mm. Say shame is not my portion. Uh, lack is not my portion. 
my people shall not be put to shame. Say, Lord, no shame for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, that every wicked force that is coming around me must crash, must crash in the name of Jesus. Uh, and he say, Lord, uh, uh, the lightning of God will shine in the darkness uh, and your blessing will no more be delayed. But as you will receive it, you will enter into it uh, and there will be no any disappointment, uh, no rejection, no cancellation of your expectation, uh, but rather your bills and your debt will be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, say, Lord, uh, that you will visit me in a mighty way and you will do amazing things by the power of your glory in the name of Jesus. Say, my angel of blessing, uh, I decree and I declare in this month of of November, my angel of blessings will locate me. In this month of November, the promises that God has for me must manifest and the fulfillment of the prophecy God has for me, I enter to the manifestation of it in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord give me the name that will bless me today. Uh, and Lord provoke your angelic assistance for me. Uh, Bible says when Jacob met with the angel in the night uh, they wrestled together and the angel said what is your name? Uh, he said my name is Jacob. He said we're changing, 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 changing things around here. Uh, you've been Jacob for a long, long, long time. Uh, you've been supplanter for a long, long, long time. Uh, you've been Jake, 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 and Jake, Jake, Jake for a long, long time now. Ah, uh, there is a change coming for you, and your name will no more be Jacob, but now your name is going to be Israel. Your name is going to be the one that fight with, with the angel and prevail and wrestle and prevail. That is you're a winner. You're a winner. You're victorious. You're a champion. You're more than a conqueror. Say, Lord, change the things around me. Let there be a change, oh God, uh, that I will enter forth to the blessing that you have for me. Change the doctor's report. Uh, there will be sound health in my body. Change the financial report. Uh, there will be abundance in my hand. He uh, said, wealth and riches are in my house. Uh, God wants to bless you and not to put you in shame and reproach and struggle. Say, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, the enemies shall not understand how your divine intervention turn things around. Uh, that the enemy will be put to shame. Uh, and God don't have to consult with anybody to bless you. Uh, God don't have to seek for permission from nobody to bless you. Uh, and God is not intimidated by your enemy. He said he give you the strength to make you to be stronger than your enemy. The Lord put my heart last week to shame. Psalm 23 now said, he set a table before me in the presence of my enemy. And he anointed my head with oil and my cup run it over. Lord, bring forth a running over blessings. Bring forth your favor, the grace, the goodness, the visitation of God in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Uh, they are decree and I declare in this month of November and in the month of December for the rest of this year and the coming year I reject backwardness. Uh, I reject going back. Uh, I reject backwardness. Uh, I reject disease and sickness. Uh, I reject accident. Uh, I reject coincidence and trouble and chaos. Uh, I reject anything the enemy is planning. Uh, it's not my part but I receive the grace. I receive the blessings of God in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of backwardness will cancel you, will nullify you in the name of Jesus Christ. No stagnation, no frustration, and no backwardness for you in the name of Jesus. But we, you go to Psalm 84. We looked yesterday in the broadcast of the winning word. And it said they go from strength to strength. Psalm 84. Say, I'm going from strength to strength. I'm going forward. I'm going stronger. I'm going higher. I'm making progress. I will prosper. I will live in health. I will enjoy the blessings of God. I will enjoy good news and good reports. 
heart. I will encounter the peace of God in my body. And I will encounter the peace of God around me. And no drama, no shame, no trouble in the name of Jesus. But that the hand of God and the mercy of God coming in and moving me forward, moving me higher, moving me to the next level in the name of Jesus. We counsel every forces and power of the wicked one that want to hit the fruit of the labor of your hands. Ah, Lord, we ask that you will perfect that which concerning us right now, Psalm 138 and verse 8, and you will do amazing things, and you will, he said, forsake not the works of your hands. Ah, Lord will not forsake you, but the anointing. The anointing of God, the fresh anointing of God to destroy every destiny killer, to destroy any destiny delay, to destroy any forces and principalities that say no to your moving forward to possessing uh, the promise that God has for you. And every giant will receive the anointing that slay them, uh, will receive the anointing that put them down, uh, and will receive the anointing of God that push you forward and move you forward and catapult you higher with a double measure with a double increase, with a double favor, with a double doors, with a double mercy of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, that God will arise and change your story. Change your story from negative and change your story from lack and change your story and turn your situation around and give you glory, 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 glory and give you blessing, 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 blessing and give you increase and favor in this 11th month. In the the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord, all I believe and all I receive and all I'm waiting on now is that this month, oh God, you will do wonders, oh God. You will do mighty things, Lord. A miracle that is greater than anything you have seen from the beginning of this year. A miracle of God, an intervention of God that you will know that surely, Psalm 126, Psalm 126, it said, when the Lord turned around the captivity of of Zion. Ah, no more captivity around you. Ah, no more any hardship around you. God turning around the table. God turning around everything the enemy has either to taking advantage of you. Is that when God turned around the captivity of Zion, we were like them that was dreaming. And then it was said among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things. He said, well, for we are glad. Is that turn again a captivity like a stream in the south? When God turn again the captivity, everybody gonna see what God has done. Everybody gonna be able to say, This is the end of God. The Lord has done great things, and wherefore they are glad. The enemy cannot stop God. No evil hand can stop the blessing of God. And every that power of every coven and every witchcraft, every Halloween witchcraft and dead and spirit of wickedness. That want to hinder you. Uh, we close their portals and we close their evil and we return every negative thing that has been spoken in the atmosphere. We cancel over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I am covered by the blood of the Lord. I am covered by the blood of the Lamb. I am covered in the name of Jesus. I am covered. My children are covered. My children, children covered. My husband is covered. My wife is covered. We are covered by the hand of the Lord. No evil in the name of Jesus Christ. But God changing things around you. God doing amazing things. God doing mighty things. And his name alone will be glorified. And his name alone will be magnified. He said in the name of Jesus according to Psalm 35 and verse 1. <laughs> Psalm 35 and verse 1, that the Lord will contend with them that contend with you in this month of 11th month of November. Psalm 35 and verse 1, it says, Lord, contend with them that contend with me. Lord, contend with them that contend with me. Let God be the one to fight your battle for you. Let God be the one to deliver you. Let God be the one to connect you to glory, glory. Let God be the one to uplift you on every side. Say, Lord, connect me, O God and contend with anyone trying to contend with me in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. And you're going to pray right now concerning your body.
because you need the help of God. See, every strange thing and any contrary thing in my system, Lord, let him be, let him be flushed out and heal me. Deliver me, heal me. Turn around everything in my system. Sometimes you don't even know what is going on in your system because you never went to do a checkup from the doctor or they didn't even see it or whatever it did they said you got or whatever they said you didn't got or whatever. But you need the hand of God because why? He is the greatest physician. He is the one that can turn everything around. Bible says Psalm 100. He said he's our maker. He's our maker. And he's the maker. He knows every product and everything. Lord, I believe you for a touch in my body. I believe you for a healing in this season. I believe you and I thank you, O oh God, because uh, you disappoint the counsel of the evil one. You disappoint the crafty. You dis Job chapter 5 and verse 12. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. He said, God disappoint the crafty. He, he, he disappoint the report of the doctors. He disappoint the expectation of the wicked. And he ensures that the craft, their hands cannot fulfill. They cannot accomplish what they plotted against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're going to say, in the name of Jesus, in this month of the 11th month of November, heal me, O God. Deliver me. Lord, heal my body from the crown of my head to the sole of your feet and the hoggers and the systems and everything that pertains to you that Lord will renew and return in you in the name of Jesus Christ by the blood of Jesus is the blood of the greater physician and he said by his stripes we are made healed by his stripes he healed and delivered the Lord I ask for your healing touch today I ask oh God that the river of healing the river flows of your healing oh God that healing is here in my life healing of my body healing of my spirit, healing of my heart, uh, healing of my mind, uh, healing of my mental state, uh, healing all over spirit, soul, and body, healing as it pertains to you all over in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, for the healing of the nation. And when they was rejoicing in Exodus chapter 15, and they got to the water Mara. Amara was bitter, but God sent in a, a solution, the healing touch of every bitterness, of every broken heart, of every pain, of every shame, of every ridicule. Lord, the way you heal Mara water. And by the stick that God gave to and showed unto Moses, he said, put a stick in it. It being that stick is like on the cross of Calvary. And he's paid that price. They said, 39 stripes. They said, and by his stripes, we are made whole. Is that the chastisement of our sin was praised upon him. I know he was well, he was healthy, he took on our infirmity upon him. And said, by his stripes, we are now made whole. Say, Lord, by the stripe and by the blood and by the cross of recovery that you pay the price of redemption. Heal me, heal and deliver. And I thank you because you are faithful. And I thank you because you do it. And I thank you because you are God and you never fail. And you are a good, good father. And you are a good, good God. And you are a mighty God. And what you say, you are look. Bible says, Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. Our God has anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said he anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about, he was doing good, and he was healing everyone, healing everyone. He was healing everyone. Bible says that in the evening time, they brought all the sick folks and all them that were oppressed by the devils, and they brought them, and he healed them all. He healed them all. Lord, the same healing touch and the same healing power. Heal me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. That is there no bam in Gilead. Is there no physician there? He said, why then are the infirmity of my people are not healed? Lord, you are the greatest physician. And the balm in Gilda, he said, by the reason of the anointing, every yoke must be broken. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you heal them all. You heal them all. Father, let there be the healing word. Jairo said, my daughter is dying. Uh, but I know if you come, you're going to raise him up. He raised the dead. He was going into the city called Nahin. And there was a widow there. And the widow had only one son. And now the enemy that killed the father of the boy also killed the son. And now she was left with nobody. And it was going to funeral procession. But God said, no. It, when you encounter God, what the enemy meant for you, the procession that the enemy meant for you is counsel. Counsel the funeral.
Cancel the funeral, I ain't gonna die now. Cancel the funeral, it's not my turn to die. Cancel the funeral, I'm gonna leave. Cancel the funeral, Jesus is coming on this way. Cancel the funeral, I encountered the resurrection and the life. And the Bible says, it didn't even say no nothing to the woman, he didn't say no nothing to the people, he just stopped right there and he touched the coffin and he got the son. He said, young man, come out, come up, come up, you ain't gonna die because everyone that encountered Jesus don't die. Every negative arrow of the enemy is returned back to a sender, nullified. And the Bible says he brought forth the young man alive on the, on the road to Nahim. And everybody, they never knew that they was not going to get to the cemetery. They never knew that they was going to encounter Jesus. They never knew that God has smiled on you. They never knew that God is able to turn things around. They never knew that God will bring him back to life. The boy was dead and real dead and they was going to bury him. It was over. But God is able to bring back to life. He is the resurrection and the life. John chapter 11, he brought Lazarus that isn't been dead even for four days. For four days. For four days. It don't matter what has been dead around you or what is dying around you. But when we call on the resurrection and the life. Uh, when we call on the resurrection and the life. We see the glory of God. Uh, we see the resurrection of God. Now the widow of Nahans. Our life was never the remainder same again. Uh, and she was rejoicing. And she said, Lord, I thank you. That you turn everything around and put all the adversary to shame. And now she can smile again. And now she can rejoice again. And now she have a son again. Say, Lord, I'm receiving back everything the enemy thought they killed and destroyed. And everything that they thought they stolen away from me. At the resurrection and the life in Jesus. Bringing forth a restoration in this hour. Bringing forth the intervention of God in this hour. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, uh, and we decree and declare by the blood of Jesus, uh, by the power of Jesus, anything dying around you be flushed out in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, our Lord will arise and uproot anything that He has not planted in your life. Uh, is that whatsoever my Father has not planted? Is that shall be uprooted? Say, Lord, uproot sickness, uh, uproot weakness, uh, uproot disease, uh, uproot affliction, uproot every curses uh, in the name of Jesus. It's look to me like the generation of curses in the life of the widow of Nahim. The man died and the boy died also. There are families who encounter certain kind of hereditary disease. Say no more. Lord, I will not die by cancer. I will not die of heart disease. You are going to touch me. You're going to make my case an exception, oh God. And Jesus stepped in, turned around that situation of the widow of Nahin. Lord, the same mercy, the same grace that you reach out. And he went about doing good. And everywhere that he go, everyone, he healed them all. Lord, I come to encounter your healing. I come to encounter your mercy. I come to encounter your favor. I want you, oh God, move me forward in a realm of progression of increase and elevation and promotion on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. And every storm and every conspiracy planning your demotion and planning a funeral procession for you, we cancel in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God will penetrate your spirit. The power of God will penetrate your body. The healing power of God penetrates your soul. The power of God penetrate your totality in the name of Jesus. The healing touch of God penetrate your personality in the name of Jesus Christ. And every evil thing and every stubborn enemy we decree and declare that they be put to shame. The enemy shall be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 68 and verse 1. Psalm 68 and verse 1. He said, now let God arise and let all of his enemies be scattered. Say, Father, I thank you. In the journey of the month of November, arise for me, O God, and let the enemies be scattered. Arise for me, O Lord, let the enemies be scattered. And every forces and every opposition and any curses that want to hinder me, let them be scattered. 
in the name of Jesus. Every threatening enemy, every enemy, every association uh, that is contrary to my elevation, uh, in the name of Jesus, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel, we nullify in the name of Jesus. No obstacle for you anymore. No barrier for you anymore. No hindrance for you anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, now, now, he said now in First John chapter 3 and verse 8. First John chapter 3 and verse 8. He said, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Lord, manifest in a mighty way for me. First John chapter 3 and verse 8. Uh, Lord, manifest in a mighty way for this purpose. Uh, the plan, the purpose you have for me, let it manifest, oh God. Uh, he said, you have a thought and a purpose. You have a plan and a purpose and the thought that you have to work me for good and not of evil. And he said, for this purpose, the Son of Man is manifested. Oh, let there be a manifestation of your glory. Let there be a manifestation of your power. Let there be a manifestation of your favor. First John chapter 3 and verse 8. For this purpose, the Son of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, was manifested and that he might destroy the works of the devil. Every works of the devil. Sickness is not the work of God, it's the work of the devil. Uh, shame is not the work of God, it's the work of the devil. Poverty is not the work of God, it's the work of the devil. Ah, uh, backlog and, and, and backshift and, and, and backwardness and stagnation is not the work of God, it's the work of the devil. Every work of the devil around you, ah, uh, everything the devil has walked around you, every evil gathering and association the enemy walks around you. Oh, for this purpose, the Son of God, this Son of God, arise, manifest, let me destroy the works of the devil. Destroy the works of the devil. John 10, 10, he said, now uh, the thief comes not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. But I have come to give life, and to give life more abundantly. Say, Lord, I receive life, abundant life. Destroy the works of the enemy. Destroy the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus. That's what it said in Job chapter 5. And verse 12. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. He said, Now uh, he disappointed their, their counsel, he disappointed that their enterprises and their devices. Uh, Job chapter two, 5 and verse 12 cannot work out the work that they planned. Say, Lord, every disappoint every enemy, disappoint every enterprise. By the power of your name, by the glory of your name, and I take authority over every broken dedication and broken every every forces that anything that have been broken in your life, and any sickness, disease, and every curses, I take authority and I reverse them by the anointing of the Lord and disappoint the counsel of the evil ones in the name of Jesus Christ. I enter forth into the foundation of blessings and the blessings of Abraham, he said. Ah, that the blessings of Abraham is come upon me and no man cast is around you. But the blessings, the blessings, the blessings of Abraham. Say, Lord, I'm ready for your blessings in this month of November. I release abundant grace and blessings, O Lord. Ah, separate me completely from every foundation and evil curses in the name of Jesus. Ah, I said, if you are a new creature in Christ, you are new, 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 new. Behold, the whole things are passed away and all things have become new. Lord, you are doing new things, O Lord. Lord, I'm ready for the new things, Lord. I lift my cup up unto you. Fill it up, O oh God. Do new things for me, Lord, in this season. I'm ready for your divine visitation in a new way. I'm ready for your mighty hand in the new way, in the name of of Jesus Christ, uh, and I apply the oil and command of demons uh, to flee by the reason of the anointing oil uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, and dismiss and disband every sin, every thought, and every image, and every failure in the name of Jesus. You're not going to be a failure. You are not a failure, but you are a successor. Uh, you're just going through a process, uh, and God's going to bring you home. 
hopped out to the promise uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, that Lord cancel every satanic odor and every satanic smell and every satanic horror around the people, around my destiny, around my life uh, in this month of November. I will not smell no failure, smell no shame, and smell no defeat, uh, but of the glory of the Lord, uh, the beauty of the Lord uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, he said every handwriting every handwriting against me. He said, Jesus, in the book of Colossians, he said, he blotted out every handwriting that was written and ordinances that was against me. Say, Lord, cancel every handwriting. Cancel every ordinances. Cancel every handwriting. Cancel every evil handwriting, every negative handwriting and ordinances that is against me. Father, cancel every written thing that has been written. Say, for the judgment written. Every negative that's been written. Lord, cancel it. Uh, he said he broke down the wall of partition uh, and every barrier in the wall that is standing between you and moving on to the next level. The Lord broke it down uh, and cancel every handwriting and ordinances. Uh, Lord, cancel doctor's report. Uh, cancel any evil report. Uh, cancel every negative report. Uh, cancel every shame and expectation of the evil ones. Uh, cancel every disappointment. Uh, cancel anything the enemy says and anything the evil ones plotted, cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. And we rebuke and dismantle every alliances and every confederation and every gathering of the evil ones. We rebuke and declare and declare and dismantle satanic confederations battling with your destiny and anything saying no to the glory of God and the promise of God and the purpose of God for my life and your destiny in the name of Jesus. Uh, we cancel every wickedness. Uh, we cancel the hopes of the wickedness. Uh, we cancel the plotting of the wickedness uh, and encounter the glory of God. Encounter the beauty of God. Encounter the favor of God. Encounter the works of God. Encounter the mercy of God uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, say, Lord, I just thank you. Second Timothy, you. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 18. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 18. And that's what I pray, I pray. He said, And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil walker, and I will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, uh, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 18. The Lord will deliver me from every Every evil walker, it will release a heavenly glory, heavenly kingdom, heavenly blessings. Only the blessings God has for you from heaven will begin to come to your manifestation in the name of Jesus. You're going from glory to glory, not gloom, not going from shame, not going from reproach, not falling from glory, but going from glory to glory to the heavenly glory. He said that the grace of God, that the mercy of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we enter to the fulfillment of your blessings, to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, I thank you, O oh God. Deliver me from every evil works. Deliver me from every evil curses. Deliver me from every evil intention and every evil thing that they're plotting. They be locking and watching and smoking and, 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 and kind of uh, uh, watching and wishing that you drop dead. But say, Lord, Lord, deliver me. Lord, you deliver me and you put them to shame and you glorify yourself in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now it says Psalm 27 verse 1. Psalm 27 verse 1. It said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me, and he shall set me high upon the rock. Psalm 27 verse 1 and verse 5. He will set you up upon the rock, and he will hide you. Say, Lord, hide me by your mercy. Hide me under the blood. Hide me under the pavilion. Hide me under your cross. Hide me under your protection. 
protection under the shadow of your wings of glory. Hide me, O oh God. No evil will mess with my family and mess with my life and mess with my wife and mess with my husband and mess with my children and mess with my children's children in this month of November. Hide me, O oh God. The Lord is my light. That is no darkness around me. No evil is permitted. No darkness is permitted around. But the Lord, by the blood of the Lamb, will hide me. Will hide me. Will hide me, Lord. Hide me, O oh God, in your favor. Hide me, O oh Lord, in your mercy. Hide me, O oh God, in your grace. Hide me, O oh Lord, in your goodness. In the name of Jesus Christ. And do amazing thing, O oh Lord, and let me walk in your glory, walk in your favor, and sweetest smell of the aroma of Christ, come in to be my portion in this month, in the name of Jesus Christ, everywhere that I go, and everything that I do, let your glory be seen, let your mercy be seen, let your intervention, let your favor follow me, the surely goodness, the mercy, the favor, follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and heaven. Psalm 23, verse 6. Now he said, Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2, verse 19 and 30. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2, verse 19 and 30. He said, walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us. An offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. Lord, a sweet-smelling aroma. He says, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bone. And when you are the member of his body, of his flesh, and his bone, your flesh, your bone, and your body will live in health. Say, Lord, no sickness, no pain, no shame, no, no anything disease and lack in my body, but I will smell the aroma of Christ and as I sing spiritual songs and singing and making melody, uh, my life is being renewed and restored in the name of Jesus. My health is renewed and restored. The favor of God is renewed and restored. And I encounter the only the intervention, the mercy, the grace, the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, sir. Is that Psalm chapter 31 and verse 16? He said, Lord, make your face to shine upon me. I am your servant. As he said in that Ephesians, you are his body, you are his flesh, you are his bones. So Lord, I am your servant. Make your face to shine upon me. Is that the Lord make his face to shine upon you? The Lord favor you in all your ways. Say, Lord, that is my blessing. That is the ironic blessing, the priestly blessing. I partake of it on every side, oh God. In every way that I go, as I walk through the day, walk through the night, and fly in the hair, and go by the road, and go on the cruise, and go by the sheep and go by the, the road and go anywhere all of my journey. Lord, cover me in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless me in the name of Jesus. Bible says, Deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 7. It's a testimony about the health and longevity of life that God has given Moses. And he said his hide did not become dame. Or his natural vigor did not diminish. Psalm chapter 34 and verse 7. Psalm chapter 34 and verse 7. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, cause me, Lord, that I will enjoy like you bless Moses in the whole covenant. He said in Psalm 34 and verse 7, Let not my high become dim or my natural vigor demolish, diminished. Uh, let not my high become dim. Let not my natural vigor or diminished in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not diminish in your health. You will not diminish in your body. You will not diminish in your finances. You will not diminish in your destiny. You will not diminish in the blessings of God, but that you will, uh, your eyes will not be dim and you will not diminish. I will not be diminished. I will not be dim in the name of Jesus Christ. I enter forth to the blessings of God in the month of, of, of 
November. I decree and I declare the favor of God in the month of November. I decree and I declare it will be a November of an increase of remember of the blessings of God. I decree and I declare, my Lord, I receive of great things that you are set to do, O God. And this month will not hand as we enter forth and enjoy all the blessings that you have in it. It's a redeeming the time because the days are evil. And we cancel every evil. It is that whatsoever the evil be plotted in this month, we cancel it. We're not going to be a partaker of no evil. We're not going to partake of any evil. But we enter forth and receive of the blessings that you have. Or you daily load us with blessings. You daily load us with favor. You daily load us with your grace. You daily load us with your goodness. You will open doors that have been shut. You will open doors. It said in Isaiah 22 and 22. Isaiah 22 and 22. He said, I'm going to give them the keys of David. Say, Father, I receive the keys of David. Is that when he shut the door, the door will remain shut. Is that when he opens the door, the door will remain open. And what is shut, no man can shut. And when he opens, no man can close. Uh, say, Lord, Isaiah 22, 22, and I receive of the keys of David. Uh, I receive my blessing for the month of November. I receive the key of the month of November. I receive the keys of blessings. Uh, and every door that needs shut, the doors of sickness, disease, and misfortune, and weeping, and sorrow, shut them now in the name of Jesus. No evil, no disaster in the name of Jesus. But I enter forth to your glory. I enter forth to your favor. I enter forth to the doors of blessings. Open doors of new friends. Open doors of new connection. Open doors of new finances. Open doors of promotion. Open doors of increase. Open doors in the name of Jesus. New house, new cars, and new blessings in the name of Jesus. New health and strong out and waxing stronger. No dimness not diminishing uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, say, Lord, I thank you. I bless you, O oh God, for my enemies will not rejoice over me. But I will encounter your glory, encounter your goodness, encounter your favor on every side uh, in the name of Jesus. Give him the praise and give him the glory. Say, Lord, thank you for the sweet hour of prayer and power. Thank you, Lord, because you answer prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of supplication. Thank you, Lord, for the visitation of your mighty hand and the angels of God walking in my favor and open doors in the month of November and glory and glory from strength to strength and favor and increase in the month of November. And I bless you, Lord, because you are good. And I thank you, Lord, because you are faithful. And I know that you never fail. And you are moving and moving in my favor in the name of Jesus Christ. And I bless you and I thank you to God be the glory forever. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And thank you, Lord. 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 I bless you, Lord. I honor you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God forever. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. But I shall not be ashamed. And you, O oh God, will be glorified. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Out of time on the broadcast today of the sweet hour of prayer and power. We come only on the first week of the month. Sweet hour of prayer and power. And I'll be back again tomorrow for an hour of prayer to set the month ready for you. For the first week of the month, we just wait upon the Lord and pray and worship Him and thank Him and declare and decree and align to the blessings and the increase that He has set for you for the month in the name of Jesus. And this will be a November to be much remembered for the grace and the glory and the intervention of God in the name of Jesus. I'm out of time and I gotta go. I acknowledge everybody who's come on here. We request that you share your timeline. And if God bless you in the prayer and the broadcast, you can send in an offering and we'll receive and we'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus. And uh, I decree and I declare that great things are set to happen for you this year, this month, in the name of Jesus. That God will do amazing things. 
On behalf of my wonderful woman of God, we want to thank you and we bless you in the name of Jesus. Reverend Terry, thank you for your time and um, executive production. We thank you to Jamie. Thank you, everyone. And we bless the name of the Lord, Corey and Noah. And we bless the name of the Lord for them. And we pray in the name of Jesus. Everybody receive the favor of God in the name of Jesus. And those uh, uh, who just came in in the broadcast, you want to have a replay or go on my YouTube channel, Abraham Peters. In case you've not got it, my book is on Barnes and Nobles. You want to go get it, you want to order it, and it's going to be a blessing to you. It's called Give Me This Mountain. Give Me This Mountain by Dr. Abraham Peters. Give Me This Mountain. And I believe that it's going to bless you in the name of Jesus. Give Me This Mountain. I don't know whatever mountain is before you, but when you stand in prayer, God's going to give it to you. God's going to give it to you, and that's what the book will help you do. And God bless you all. We'll see you. Have a wonderful day and happy new month in the name of Jesus. And I have a wonderful time. I'm out of time. I got to go and we'll see you tomorrow on the broadcast. Sweet hour of prayer and power again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shalom.